Hello there, my name is Rachel, the first time you see my channel, I used to review cartoon series, anime series, so something completely random, and today we're going to talk about the first oppression of the first two apples of Hamster and Gretel. Now, I do like Dave's work, but I always have that sort of if factor, that sort of, I'm not sure I'm falling in love, because usually they have that sort of factor and make songs he had that you see the main lead is too dry you feel the voice actors never really are acting because it's sort of self-aware and that's the issues I usually have with Dave I mean the animation is perfect the comedy is perfect the heart yeah, I think usually it's one of the major components they struggle at least the first season and all the little things Dave's little issues you sort of fix here yeah I feel that's sort of fascinating because Hamster and Gretel is all about two characters getting powers, but the ironic thing is, it actually is four characters. The, thir the third character is Kevin and Kevin's cousin. But Kevin's cousin is more like an outsider, a person who just sarcastically be there in the right moment, just saying the sarcastic way, in other words. But that usually just leaves the first two episodes for right now, but Kevin himself have to describe him, he is the heart of the whole show. He's the one who cares and protects uh, Gretel because Gretel, she has like HDD or HD, I don't have the illness, how you describe it, but HDH or DHE, you get the idea. She's basically hyper FDA that she can't really focus her mission or the objective she must do. And that made her a very flawed character, but she's not weak she knows what she's doing is that she needs a little direction a little patience this is the reason why i kind of enjoy the first two episodes he feels that uh gretel is a flawed character and realize she flaws she needs patience but you love it even more she gets punished usually dave's a show the main lead is too perfect sometimes and it's, that's his style nothing wrong with that if you just need to know how to maneuver that as a character to make her likable not make her a Mary Sue and this is the reason why I love this series oh this this version of Day's work because uh, Gretel is a flawed character but a likable every time she overthinks or does something inappropriate she will get punished or realize she made a mistake and apologize and he tries to do better but I love it Kevin is sort of bitter brother who tries to help her sister and her hamster who has power but at the very end he is sort of jaded himself that he wants the power because how life is sort of boring this is his destiny he realized this is not I'm just the brother who feels that he could be useless at least the first two episodes realizing that he's not useless even his, sis his sister says you're not useless I need you but I love it that how Kevin needs um, Gretel Gretel needs Kevin because Gretel is she because her HDH she can't focus that's what he needs her brother right aside her to tell her direction what to do and how to do it and vice versa that Kevin doesn't move things because he's not that powerful how believable he is but at the same time the guy is sort of clever and very wise for a brother so you can see how this dynamic works so well even that the relationship seems a little strange but at the same time, it just works. Now, let's face it, uh, Hamster, the first two episodes, he really don't show much. He's basically the ferv of the group that he says what he wants to say, but he's sort of the asshole of the group that he just says things just because, because he never really just the, does the job that works. He just say things he needs to say and he does it, but he's not the mysterious type. He just the asshole yeah, I love about that of course it's just a little bit you see in this series he could be my favorite character I don't know you but I do love the dynamic of the both siblings even their cousin who is basically the fourth member of the group but she is basically the sarcastic one the one who points out things how sort of strange it really is but whatever just go with it but that that I think this is why this show is really great it just sort of Bands, everything that you know you need a certain character to say something she's there or Kevin or a uh, hamster or Gretel it just clicks especially the music that the few music I seen or heard the first two episodes 
feels good. I mean, of course, this is a David's work, but one of the biggest problems with David is that his work usually is factory make music that they're all well written well choreographed well sung the only problem is it just feel sort of shallow i mean i don't want to be rude but that's how he feels but i feel that sort of evolved out of that that he knows that so every time you hear the song the song is just more personal and that why i want it this is the reason why i can never go into of uh, being surfer kind of music tracks because they feel sort of factory made, never feel personal, personal. And this is why, I, this is why I really like this version of his work because it feels personal. It feels intimate of the character, what he's feeling. They don't sing because they need to sing. And they have that moment that feels it's the right moment kind of situation. Maybe I've been a little bit confusing, but at least I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. And something I'm sort of surprised that Hansel and Gretel, or I mean, uh, Gretel and Kevin are Latinos uh, for some reason. I'm not sure they could be half Latino or they're just a, uh, their mom is stepmom. I really don't know. But okay, that's that's different. I wasn't expecting that, but okay, I can believe that. Anyway, anything else I say about this show? Well, one thing, this show has a arc. I mean, the first episode is sort of the gag of how you're getting powers. The second episode is sort of setting up the situation, the antagonist from the two main leads. But I love it how the aliens who give their power, give their power because they thought, oh, they're wise, they chose us because we are the good people. No, it seems the aliens who give powers to the kids are playing a game on themselves. They're basically playing God, in other words. You get powers, you get powers, both of you fight to the death. That sort of situation I felt the series trying to point out because how end episode 2. Once more, that could be interesting, that could be dumb, that could be fun, especially the creator, how he very cleverly writes things and does the music. It could be a great thing or a bad thing. You never know. This show could be terrible at the very end, but hopefully this show will be good to the very beginning to the very end. Now, I honestly, I got nothing else to say. I just recommended at least the first two episodes. I have that one question. Do you like this series? Do you like Dave's work? Tell me down below. Let me know. I got nothing else to say. Just thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And have a wonderful day. Bye.